Hello, welcome back. Uh, so this is the fourth module of uh, first week. So as you know, in this particular week, we were trying to talk about uh, uh, plastic. Uh, what are the different types of plastics and how much uh, how they are made? Uh, we discussed that in the first three videos. And now this we this video, which is will be the module number four or lecture four, as you uh, may like to call it. And then the second uh, video after this, uh, which will be uh, like the fifth one, uh, we will talk about the usage and global statistics. So what that does mean, uh, we will be talking about how much plastic is uh, uh, being made and where it is being used, made in India as well as abroad. That's why it's a global statistics. As you know, uh, plastic waste does travel a lot. We will talk about later on in uh, Great Pacific garbage patch and plastic getting the ocean, different rivers contributing to those plastic pollution. So we will uh, we'll see that plastic actually travels quite a bit. So uh, concept that just to recap, the concept that we are trying to cover in this particular week, the first two bullets which has been uh, underlined, this, uh, this, uh, this uh, uh, topic we have already uh, taken care of. So we already talked about uh, what, what is plastic. Then we also looked at what, what is the type of plastic. Today, uh, like in this video and, uh, and the video after this, we'll focus on usage and global statistics. So that's what uh, our uh, focus will be in, in terms of uh, uh, this video and the video after this. So now in terms of uh, uh, if you look at uh, okay, in terms of its use, so in terms of, uh, so we'll uh, get started and look at the use and global statistics. So what are the major fields where the plastic is used? And I have been telling you in uh, last three videos that plastic basically were used everywhere. But where are the maximum quantity of plastic that is being used? So automotive sector. So this particular uh, pie chart over here kind of uh, shows you uh, in terms of uh, different, like if you look at uh, automotive uh, sector, electrical, so that's your uh, automotive sector, then we have electrical and electronics, consumer goods, this is consumer goods, and medical devices, uh, we have some uh, in terms of the medical device, uh, these are uh, others, so this is our the others category, then we use in construction, we use in packaging, we use in industrial machinery, we use in optical media, so as you can see uh, majority, so these are the major areas where uh, the automotive, we are using the plastic, it is uh, it is being used in uh, these different applications where uh, it is plastic is being uh, used for automotive, plastic is being used for electrical electronics, consumer goods, when we say consumer goods, all, all sorts of different uh, items that you and I buy, medical devices, you go to any hospital today, you see a lot of plastic uh, related stuff over there, uh, construction industry uses a lot of plastic in construction and also in the tools aiding in construction activities, packaging material, lots and lots of plastic being used. Uh, if you buy anything from online shopping or if you go to any mall and uh, any uh, like if you buy a, a lab equipment or any sorts of stuff, you see lots of packaging and lots of plastics being used in there. Industrial machineries, that's where uh, we, uh, we use a lot of plastic parts these days because they are convenient to make. Optical media, optical media is your uh, from pen drive uh, to uh, like a CD-ROM or uh, uh, floppy floppy disk we don't use anymore, but uh, uh, any and like a different uh, types of uh, media that is used. So global, uh, it's around. Uh, this is uh, this this pie chart is kind of telling us in terms of the distribution as per 2016 uh, market, uh, which was report came out uh, just this year as per the plastic compounding market size and report. And one thing you may have meant, you may have noticed that uh, for most of these pictures, uh, like almost all of this picture, unless it's our own, uh, own, own data, own di uh, diagram, we are putting a link here. So the reason for putting this link is twofold and this is this and those of the students uh, who are here you should definitely do it because this is not my data I have taken it from somewhere so I have to indicate the source that's a standard practice in terms of presentation for lectures sometimes we can get away without providing the source because uh, I'm just using this information to to teach uh, an audience and uh, it might be okay unless uh, unless it's also not 
I would not say it's like a, it, it's not advisable to do it, but if you forget at some point of time, it can be condoned. But at the, but if you are using it for your any project, any presentation, any seminar, it's a standard practice, global standard practice that you should list the source. So that's one aspect of putting the source here. The other aspect is I want you guys to go and look at these sources. Because what I'm presenting, what we are presenting in this course, uh, in the slides or in this video is only a snapshot of that particular report. If you have interest to look at more in this particular topic, please go and visit this particular website. So you can, um, uh, the, the, all these slides will be available to you as part of the lecture material. So as part of the reading material, go and look at those slides, uh, look at those particular websites and you can learn more information from there. Because not everything can be taught in a course. It's uh, especially these kind of courses, which is, uh, uh, it's, uh, it, you, will, you will have to do a lot of self-learning. You have to get, uh, get out there and find a lot of information by yourself. So coming back to what our topic, uh, there are, these are the major fields of applications of plastic. Aut again, automotive, industrial machinery, medical device, building construction, electrical electronics, consumer goods, packaging, optical media, and there could be other applications out there as well. So consumer goods kind of include all the stuff that we use it for, as I, as, as, as I keep, on, uh, keep on saying, from uh, toothbrush to toothpaste to evening, uh, uh, even you, like a, uh, the bulb or like a, the electrical fixtures, uh, wires, every, a lot of things we use plastic at our home, TV, uh, even a microwave or most of the appliances now have plastic components. You think about uh, mixer grinder, you think about uh, um, even many of like handles to the uh, cooking pa cooking pads uh, cooking and microwaveable pro microwaveable containers so tiffin containers so quite a bit so if you go and look at your house uh, and even when you wherever you are sitting uh, right now if you just keep uh, keep uh, up around you take a 360 degree look and you will find lots of plastic products so we are using lots and lots of plastic in our day to day application and that's the reason why uh, we have been uh, we have been trying to uh, find out that uh, how to uh, take care of, uh, uh, ma how to manage properly these plastics. <coughs> so in automotive sector, uh, next time when you, when you are in a car or uh, when you are uh, uh, looking at any, any vehicle, uh, when you are inside a vehicle, just uh, see the vehicle around and you will find different plastic components. Now this particular picture, I'll just kind of go over uh, uh, this uh, different components which is there like a starting from if you look at the top we have door panels the door panels which you will have uh, different and then here we have also tried to put below that what that what is the type of plastic so it's a polycarbonate ABS uh, ABS type then uh, A and B pillar covers uh, where you will have uh, covers uh, on uh, top as well as uh, covers for uh, the mirror uh, so Interior trim, the interior, uh, the trim that is used, there's again ABS, lots of ABS are used. Air intake manifold, plastics, engine cover, front grille, oil pan, headlight housing, headlight lens, bumpers. These days, entire bumper is actually plastic. That's why when you uh, go and, uh, if, uh, God forbid, if you get into some accident or just in, if you just while backing up, you hit something, you see that the whole bumper just gets, uh, uh, you, you have a very big dent even with a s slight hit with each other uh, with some, some other object you get a uh, like a quite a bit of dent because most of the body of uh, the car is a plastic that's why the cars are becoming very lighter so and uh, so the, the, it's, it's being used and as you can see uh, the different uh, components of a car uh, you, you see the plastic is pretty much everywhere from bump, we call it from bumper to bumper, bumper say from the front bumper to the back bumper, this area is our front bumper, then this is our back bumper and you can see the plastic is basically everywhere in the car. So you have in the instrument panel, central console where you have all those uh, music and other stuff uh, that is over there, side mirror, door handle, wheel covers, rear windshield, panoramic roof and roof module. <coughs> so. Think about your car, you have plastic, pretty, wherever you touch the car, there is plastic. So that's why plastic, uh, it's a, so, uh, we use lots and lots of plastic. And uh, plastic has done a wonderful job in terms of uh, uh, this automotive industry. We have, uh, plastic is being used in automotive, plastic has made the automotive, uh, uh, the vehicles very lighter. 
and lighter means better fuel mileage because if it's a light car less weight better fuel mileage so it helps save the mileage and that way if you think about it helps save into the fossil fuel consumption so it is actually doing good for the environment that way so uh, all uses of plastic is not bad so when we talk about that oh plastic is a big pollution plastic is basically we are getting drowned in plastics and all that yes there is plastic mismanagement of plastic waste is a problem plastic itself is not a problem plastic when it was uh, invented and the way it is being used today it, the reason for that it, it's a wonderful material it has multiple application as you saw uh, in last three videos it is made in a variety of way for widespread applications on our day-to-day -day basis we use this plastic in lots and lots of uh, uh, industries and our daily usage consumer products as you just saw so plastic has really make our life uh, improve helped in improve our life we can we can say that but at the same time yes it is a new it's a it's a it's a when it's discarded it's a waste when it gets into the waste stream the problem that we are having is we are mismanaging the plastic waste we are not managing the plastic waste properly that's the issue issue is not just the plastic and one and there are certain types of plastic which creates more nuisance those are called single use plastic very thin it gets disintegrates into the environment flies through the with the wind so yes those are uh, the single use plastic film plastic they are the problematic uh, but most of the plastic applications that we have uh, in terms of the automotive cars and all also if as you can see in this particular slide you see like a beautiful pictures of several industrial machinery and uh, so in, in industry you walk into any industry today and you will find lots of plastic parts there as well lots of plastic based uh, construction uh, most a uh, lot of plastic based material used in construction of these industrial machines so it's needed over there it has made life much very very simple so it's not that uh, so as as i say there is a not, you cannot paint all plastic products as bad Yes, there are certain types of plastic, especially those film plastic and plastic which has uh, less than uh, uh, size, uh, like thin, it's very, very, very thin, less than 40 microns, which government is looking at banning. So when they ban the plastic, it is the single use plastic, mind it. So it's a single use pl plastic which is government is looking out, is, is trying to ban. It's not the entire plastic. The single use plastic is the nuisance and we have to kind of, uh, uh, we, we have to come up with a better material for that or manage that <coughs> single use plastic in a much better way. So uh, looking at this picture again uh, here, this is uh, only uh, to give you a uh, like a variety of applications for uh, plastic in industries. Uh, there is nothing uh, uh, like a, this a collage is just to put together to give you an impression that plastic is used quite extensively in industrial applications as you can see in a variety uh, of settings uh, from uh, uh, whether it's a uh, different kind of uh, industries as you can walk in you will see plastic pretty much everywhere so that's what uh, uh, we are trying to illustrate using this particular uh, uh, image so i talked about the other areas medical application you uh, go uh, medical uh, is, is starting from you go to a hospital like a, I don't wish that you, you need to get hospitalized but just in case if you have you visit somebody in a hospital you just uh, look around the hospital bed the bed in which the patient is taking a, a rest or is uh, recovering from uh, illness or surgery or whatever and you just see all those uh, different gadgets which is attached to the patient you all those tubings uh, that uh, uh, that uh, like IV fluids uh, those uh, glucose or whatever is being given to the patient different types of medical uh, uh, liquid uh, medication which is injected into the patient's body even the injection syringe or uh, uh, the containers the uh, you have uh, uh, different types of uh, 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 like a containers for uh, medicines as you can see on this uh, two, two uh, pictures over here you see over all these different kinds of medication this is just some example medication not only these medications in fact all the medication as you go home today uh, you just uh, look at your medical cabinet most of most of us has some medicine at home and you will see most of the packaging is from is plastic only or it will be a mixture of plastic and some other material 
or if you have a containers you use different types of containers again you have a, a variety of plastics being used so we use a lot of plastics in a, a medical uh, like a, as applications so if you can have a quick look at the list here uh, we use it for iv uh, IV and respiratory fitting, that is what I was trying to tell you. You can use it for IV and respiratory fitting. Filters of the laboratories and filter casing, that is where also it is used. Diagnosis device, blood collection tubes, whenever uh, you go to give your uh, blood or urine sample, the container in which it is taken is plastic and uh, the syringe which is used to take out the blood from our uh, hand is again a plastic. So, separation equipment and dialysis components, catheters, plastic pill casing, Surgical examination gloves, uh, which is again plastic, inflatable splints, inhalation mask, disposable gowns, wipes, droppers, urine containers and automotive products. So every like you see that uh, lots of applications of plastic is being done in medical application. So think about that if, if the plastic was not there, see we, we get so much, uh, one thing I always uh, try to uh, uh, stress upon is we are environmental engineer and environmental scientist. There is a difference between environmental engineer, environmental scientist versus environmentalists. Environmentalists is when they kind of, they kind of uh, out, I, I don't want to use that word, but mo most of the time they have some sort of agenda or some sort of, uh, they will go after a certain topic, but the topic that they will be pursuing, the cause that they will be pursuing, they may not have that much scientific and engineering understanding. They go by some evidence of yes, something has happened and then let us go and ban the entire plastic industry, for example, or uh, let us ban all the diesel vehicle. But that is not the solution. We have to live on this planet. We have to do our day to day activity, we have to go to hospital, we have to get cured and all the tools and appliances that is uh, used in hospital and uh, those nursing homes contains lots of plastic. And there is why this contains lot of plastic because there is no other alternative. As of today, whatever alternative is there, it is very expensive or uh, there are uh, uh, the, the, for certain uh, applications you probably you may not find a practical alternative. Theoretically many things are possible, but you have to look at from a practical point of view and that is why we have always have to do a cost benefit analysis, have to do an environmental risk assessment on a big, on a holistic view, have a life cycle thinking, have a systems perspective, just do not Ha, we should not make a decision based on emotions. Decisions should be based on based on science, facts, engineering, technology, options. So that is very, very important. So yes, plastic is a problem. When it is a problem? When you do not manage the plastic waste properly. So what is the problem? Problem is the mismanagement of plastic waste. It is not the plastic. It is the mismanagement of plastic waste which is a problem. So let us focus on that. Let us manage the plastic waste properly. And yes, there are certain types of plastic which needs to be gradually phased out. Those single use plastic, those thin plastic, the film plastic that you and I get when you go to the grocery store, uh, when you buy your coconut, uh, sorry, buy your potato or onions or some vegetables, they give you that uh, very thin plastic, the see through white color or the black plastic that you get in meat shops. Those are actually nasty stuff. We should stop using, try to stop using them rather than banning the entire plastic, which is not really going to work anyway, because unless there is a material which is equally good as plastic, which is equally cheap as plastic and which uh, can do most of the function that plastic does today. So that is very, very important. It is the mismanagement of plastic that should be the focus of the discussion, not banning plastic uh, entire straight and we are not most of the places we are not actually talking about banning plastic, we are just talking about banning single use plastic. So that is also very, very important to remember. So and then construction and industry application. So as I said, we will look at the different applications. Uh, here is again, if you look at uh, uh, these, uh, uh, you have the wire and cable. This, this picture is from a uh, North American building or, uh, or like Australian, uh, Canadian, those kind of places where they use uh, their, uh, they have a slanted roof as you can see in this picture, it is a slanted roof and so in this particular roof what they do is they try to have uh, 
there why they have scented roof uh, because more, most of the places there is a snow so the snow will actually will not accumulate on the top otherwise it will be too much heavy so let the snow uh, go down and uh, and more these are mostly single housing uh, single housing or duplex buildings uh, like that but uh, for in uh, so in those kind of applications in the construction as you can see there are wire wire cables even in indian contest we use that and uh, insulated uh, seating uh, in insulation is done using plastic pipes plumbing pipes plumbing is done a lot of uh, plastic uh, in fact if you look at the uh, plumbing in india right now for housing i would say probably if not close to 100% 90 90 plus percent will be plastic only we are using lots of plastic even the taps everything is becoming uh, plastic now uh, in terms of the uh, like a uh, some of the other stuff they have like vapor retarder we don't use that much in indian contest is structural insulation moldings uh, insulation from the bottom uh, and uh, you have uh, flooring flooring use some pvc and other stuffs decking sometimes green roofs again you use some types of plastic there windows frames house wraps hdp pp sidings so lots of plastics is being used in construction industry as well so that's uh, that is what uh, we, we try to highlight using this particular picture. Then electrical and electronic applications. You are watching this video either on your mobile phone or on your iPad or maybe on a laptop or a desktop and all of that contains plastic. So, it is you have uh, different types of plastic. So, your mobile is becoming lighter. You, you have a big mobile phone, but it is uh, it, the weight is not that high. Laptops, we are replacing metals with plastic. Laptops are getting lighter. And same thing with the desktop. Remember the desktop of earlier days when you will have to actually one person carrying the CPU, one person carrying the monitor. Now the entire unit, one person just carry by itself because it became lighter, because the metals have metals were heavier, it was replaced by lightweight plastic. So that is the reason why uh, you, you have plastic being used pretty much in most of almost all the electronic products the plastic is there. As you can see uh, we have some examples over uh, listed over here ABS telephone and keyboard monitors uh, that is what uh, amino resins with the lightning fixtures epoxy resin is used ethylene vinyl acetate for frigid drawer strips vacuum uh, vacuum lean ho hoses uh, phenol formaldehyde for fuse box knobs switches polymide food processor bearings adapters polycarbonate we use in telephones those telephones that we have your polycarbonate uh, polysters business machine parts coffee machine uh, polythene in cable and wire insulation polypropylene in kettles polystyrene in refrigerator trays lining tv cabinets polytetrafluoroethane in electrical applications polyvinyl chloride in cable and wire insulations and cable trucking and this is not the total exhaustive list this is just some example to illustrate that variety of plastic is used in our electrical and electronic applications and this list will actually keeps on increasing and increasing as we uh, try to come up with different types of plastic. Many of these are also blended plastic. Blended plastic is when you have two or three different types of plastics are mixed together. Especially if you have looked at your uh, 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 remote, uh, if you have looked at the remote uh, that uh, we use, it is a very smooth uh, signing, uh, like a, not signing, but it is smooth plastic, very, it uh, feel is very different. Uh, most of the remote has a similar uh, kind of plastic material and they are actually blended plastic. They are two, two three different types of plastics blended together. So, that is what uh, uh, you see that and same thing with the telephone sets. Uh, they also have uh, similar plastic. Oops, sorry. Then consumer goods, uh, a variety of goods are made uh, using uh, plastic as you can see on this picture on the left as well as on the right uh, it is self explanatory I do not have to really explain that. So, let us uh, plastic is used in variety of uh, uh, consumer goods where uh, uh, we use it for variety uh, different kind of applications as you can see on this particular uh, uh, image uh, both like for whether it is for uh, your uh, toiletries, whether it is for uh, food uh, containers, whether even you have uh, uh, Sometimes uh, uh, you, like, you have like a, uh, milk containers, uh, cleaning uh, supplies or uh, you have uh, drinking water bottle, samples, whatever and as you can see variety of things where you have uh, uh, plastics are being used. Then packaging industry, <coughs> packaging as well as a storage industry uh, whether it is a Coca-Cola, Pepsi, 
Sprite or you have uh, uh, even for soaps or uh, different kind of uh, uh, packaging uh, you see plastics per being used. Uh, then also for the containers that we used in our houses or even for uh, packaging the, say if you have go for a uh, for example if you go for these like a Horlicks, Bon Vita, Maltova and all those different uh, I don't know whether Maltova is still available and you, you go for those brands uh, and anything that's just one example even for ghee all those different uh, you go uh, peanut butter, mayonnaise you go to any market you see all these different plastic containers and uh, different shapes different sizes and all these uh, is used in the packaging industry. So, packaging industry is actually a huge area where the plastics are used, uh, uh, different types of plastics are used as well uh, in terms of uh, its application. Optical media uh, where uh, you use it for uh, uh, different uh, uh, whether you uh, use for uh, you the cables, uh, you use it in your uh, uh, different uh, speakers you use for uh, CDs, you use for a USB pen drive and uh, you can the list can be uh, long long uh, over in this area as well. So, as you can see different uh, uh, applications is there in optical media as well. So, if you look at the uh, so for all making all these products uh, the plastic uh, has to be made is not it. So, it is the plastic has to be produced because we are using it in a such a variety of way. So, plastic needs to be produced to make those uh, uh, make those material make those products. So, if you look at uh, in terms of the plastic production uh, it is uh, it not uh, 18 percent uh, China is the largest producing of plastic material uh, followed by Europe and NAFTA. NAFTA is the North America uh, like for, for trade agreement which is includes US Canada as well as the Mexico. So, China 29 percent. So, 29 percent of the plastic is actually made in China. So, nearly uh, slightly less than one third of the plastic of the world. Then Japan has around 4 percent, 17 percent in the rest of Asia. So, if you look at total Asian countries total they produce 50 percent uh, of uh, plastic is being made in Asia itself. So, because uh, again if you look at why you see this because uh, uh, most of the manufacturing is happening in the Asian countries today. Uh, the manufacturing industry is actually moved from Europe and North America to Asian countries almost I would say mid 80s around that particular time and that is and gradually it has it has picked up in India, China. China is of course, the leading manufacturer uh, even today. India is catching up, uh, but in, in India we do not have that much manufacturing. We are we are getting more into the service industry rather than manufacturing industry. So, but uh, that is why you see that uh, China is still producing a lot of plastic. They also recycle, uh, they used to recycle a lot of plastic from around the world before they did this China short policy recently, which they banned the import of plastic waste coming from abroad. Uh, they have not really banned ban, but uh, I would say they have actually put a very high standard. They want clean plastic in terms of the recyclable plastic getting into into China. So, uh, so China. This is 50% from Asia. Uh, then next is uh, Europe and NAFTA is almost the same. 19% from Europe, 18% from NAFTA, which includes U.S., Canada, and. Uh, and uh, New Mexico uh, sorry uh, US, Canada and Mexico uh, those three countries then 4 percent in Latin America, 7 percent in Middle East and Africa, 2 percent in that uh, uh, in, in the Middle East and uh, those countries. So, this is uh, based on plastic again this is based on the data from plastic Europe uh, uh, report in 2017. And uh, so, if you go and look maybe in 2018 now if the newer report is out there when we made this slides almost uh, uh, I would say in uh, in in the December December of 2018, when we were preparing this slide, this was the late this was the figure. Now, if the newer report is out there, the figure will have, may, may have changed. That's what I want you to do because, as I said earlier in the last video as well, we will learn this topic together. There is no textbook on this topic. We are collating information from variety of sources from uh, uh, India as well as abroad and trying to put a uh, trying to present to you the plastic waste management status 
of as of today what are the issues what are the potential solutions and we are as a as a person who uh, who works in the waste management field i'm putting i'm uh, i'm putting my perspective on this uh, as well as an instructor of this course and potential solution to this plastic waste management problem we'll talk about but uh, since it's a very dynamic it's a very new topic dynamic topic any new information out there because it's not possible for me and my two TAs to kind of get the entire information from the globe we may miss some information as well so i I encourage you to go you look at that uh, different, you also do some google searches you also look at some of these reports if there is new data available let us know it will be really nice and it will help us uh, we can include that in our uh, discussion forum and all that and discuss those uh, kind of material so again use the discussion forum uh, for uh, make it lively we i promise you that your uh, your query will be uh, you will get very quick response in most of the time it will be within 20, uh, 24 hours and at the same time uh, uh, if you have any questions, any comments, any feedback, feel free to put it on the discussion forum. And uh, thank you. And we'll continue this discussion. We'll uh, carry on in terms of the uh, global statistics now. So in this particular video, we talked about what are the different uses. Now the last topic for this particular week is on global production data, which we kind of got into with this particular slide. And then we'll continue our discussion further in the next video. Thank you and see you again.